Sure. Yeah. I mean, so just as an opening statement, obviously the, not the result that we were looking for, uh, but really pleased with the way that the defense played and the way that they battled and fought for the, the majority of the game. They really kept us in it. Um, unbelievable job by the special teams, really dictating the, uh, the the course of where field position was starting and different things. Obviously, we can't start that slow ever offensively. Too many self-inflicted wounds. Uh, Arizona State had a great plan that they executed, um, and we need to be much better offensively starting with myself. I think it was a combination of a lot of things. Obviously, when you're behind the chains, you know, to, to come out and, and have the ball slip out of your hands and to be behind the sticks and to be playing off schedule quite a bit, uh, it, it, that's not the way that you, you want to be doing things. Um, you know, they did a good job disguising some of their coverages and things that they hadn't shown um, on tape from year one. So, obviously, some year one to year two growth there for them. Um, but when the kids kind of settled down and, and got into the game, obviously, stringing that drive together, we're able to execute, do the things that we're capable of doing, and, and that shows the greatness that these kids are capable of. Sure. Like you said, the defense was holding you. Yeah, defense did a fabulous job. You know, special teams flipping the field, but defense really, you know, with some of those uh, sudden changes where they held into field goals, our big time wins, where, yeah, you, you need to seize those opportunities. And, and it's the, the duty of the offense and that opportunities and the, those positions in the game to inject some life into the sideline and to go get points and to invigorate the bench and, and to make sure that, you know, the, the whole family knows that the fight is going to be worth it. Um, and we just talked about that. And that's how you know that you got a good team, right? On the nights like this, where the offense is, is sputtering a little bit, that the defense holds on, holds, holds, holds until the Calvary shows up and the offense needs to do their part. And I know that there's going to be nights where, you know, defensively we got to go score each and every time until the defense settles down and we'll do that. And that's how you know you got a good team and a strong family when you got the camaraderie to do that and the family's going to bail each other out in that way. Obviously, you guys switch back and forth a little bit with quarterbacks. Yep. Where, where are you kind of at? Woody's our guy. Woody's our guy. Crum just had an exceptional camp and really did the things that we're talking about and that we're preaching as we build this family. And so he had earned the opportunity to play. And and Woody, you know, with a little bit of the slow start and, and where we were at offensively, I thought that Crum could give us a little bit of life. So so gave him an opportunity. Obviously, that didn't work out. Went back to Woody. Woody executed, and and, and it was good for Woody to see. And he stayed engaged. He stayed connected and, and responded in a big time way to that event to have a good outcome. So I was really pleased with the way that he handled that. But Woody's our guy. He's our starting quarterback, but like I said all along, I feel very fortunate because we have two, and an opportunity like this to let both of them get game reps and to get settled in, we're going to take advantage of those moments. What's your uh, message to the team after the game with this Pistons and Walker? I mean, just that, too. I was really proud of the way that our defense and our special teams played, the way that they fought and the way that they you know, kept us in the contest and that offensively we can't start that slow and we can't have that many self-inflicted wounds between the, the balls that we put on the ground, the ones that we lost, the ones that we didn't lose. Um, but obviously the, the self-inflicted wounds and the attention to detail is something that we have to get much, much better at and something that we need to have significant improvement in from week one to week two because when, when we're right, and I just told them this, when we're right, we're capable of great things. I believe that with every fiber of my being. And if I, I didn't believe that, I wouldn't put those expectations on the kids in that locker room because we're due and we're going to have a very special year um, but we got to embrace the, uh, the the challenges that come along with that but there's a lot of good that we put down on tape especially defensively especially special teams I'm very proud of those units and there's a lot of lessons that we're going to learn offensively going forward cool thank you fellas